Moderate inflation is a sign of a healthy economy. Economists agree that moderate inflation encourages people to spend rather than sit on cash, which drives economic growth. But what level of inflation is ideal for an economy? Stephanie schmidt groha explains that many central banks aim for 2% inflation over time, but have been missing their inflation targets for years. Many, many developing countries settled on this 2% number. The European Union is close to but below 2%. The US has a 2% inflation target. Japan has a 2% inflation target. If you were to organize a debate, is 1% better than 3%, I think it will be difficult to, to justify it. The most important thing is that the people in, the, in society know this is what my central bank is trying to do, so you can plan. Um, many countries right now are missing the inflation target and they are undershooting it. If a central bank is credible to its people and they think they can really, over the medium to long term, control the inflation rate and they keep saying the inflation target is two, but they come out short, I think that might generate over time some credibility issues. Inflation is kept low in a so-called liquidity trap, explained schmidt groha An economy that is stuck in a liquidity trap has low or zero interest rates, which leaves no policy space for central bankers to stimulate consumption and therefore renders monetary policy ineffective. If you ask what are the, the symptoms of a liquidity trap or how do you diagnose this, it's usually if the policy instrument of the central bank, namely the normal interest rate, is at zero, the monetary policy is constrained. To use a jargon, there's no policy space left. The central bank cannot lower the interest rate anymore. And also, inflation itself today is below target. Expected inflation five years or 10 years out are also below target. And this is actually true in Europe. Central bankers typically believe that cutting interest rates increases inflation. With inflation below target and central banks unable to correct the problem, Stephanie schmidt grohas research suggests that central banks can increase inflation by breaking new ground, raising instead of lowering interest rates. Japan has always followed a policy of zero, or actually now negative normal interest rates, with the objective to bring inflation back to the 2% target. For 25 years, this logic has not worked. We wrote a paper motivated by what was going on in Japan, whether the policy of saying when inflation is below target, we always lower the interest rate, actually allows not necessarily only the outcome you want, but it also allows the economy to do the opposite. We didn't expect this to become a big topic. And then 2008, the recession came. And since then, many countries have that problem. Suppose the ECB said, look, we should go back to normal. And normal is a normal interest rate of 4%. If the central bank would start raising rates, that would be a way to re-anchor inflationary expectations that everyone in society would think again, OK, the ECB is serious. Maybe the way out of this prolonged period of being at zero or negative rates and inflation below target is to normalize and to go back to interest rates of 3 4%, which is normal from a historical point of view.